I'm here at the early grade reading research in Daba, where we are sharing on about 10 years of research that we've been doing on early grade reading. We're sharing about what programs worked to improve reading outcomes amongst children in our schools. And we're also talking about what to do next, or where to from here, how do we take this evidence that we've now accumulated over the last few years and turn it into wider scale program implementation? How do we start to shift the reading challenge in South Africa to a point where far more children learn to read on time in the first few grades of school? So lots of people are here, a lot of uh, exciting research is being presented and hopefully uh, this will make its way into the reading programs and policy for the next years to come. We put together this hybrid conference today so that we can share our findings with a diverse range of stakeholders. We have about 100 people invited, um, ranging from government officials in Treasury, the Department of Education and even Presidency. We have NGOs, we have some funders and we have provincial officials here as well. The idea is to disseminate the information and research that we have, but also to get feedback and a conversation going about how we move from research to policy. Investing in evidence is absolutely critical. If we are to make smart investments in education, we need to know what works. We need to know where to invest the resources because resources are limited. So it's really excellent that South Africa has invested in this rich evidence, which should inform where the resources go in the education sector. This session started by just taking us back to 10 years when this whole debate and the work on the early grade reading started and it traced all the work around the early grade reading from um, the time that um, this proposal was received in 2012 and all the work that has been done from early grade reading study one to two. It has been such a great platform for everyone to come back and say how has this worked, what has been the problem and how we've brought back a partnership and collaboration in the space of education. There's so much that has been done in South Africa, but we have not gotten a, a chance to reflect on what has been the gains and what have we learned and what is it that we need to improve in ensuring that early grade reading program is firstly um, sorted, the issue is solved, but also it's scaled up. At the core of the, the EGRS is a particular theory of what we call the technical or the instructional core. There's a recognition that the proximal cause of improved learning outcomes is what teachers do in the classroom day in and day out. And what we needed to do is find a way to help teachers improve their technical core, the teaching and learning process. And the, the triple cocktail, the development of lesson plans, high quality materials, and training and coaching that together when it's aligned and coherent becomes a very powerful set of interventions that help teachers improve their work. And the research that we've had shows how the combination of those three components is a key element in improving learning outcomes. When the Department of Education approached us, we welcomed the approach they were taking to build evidence around what works and what doesn't work in an area that the country was grappling with. And what stands out for me in the conference is how this is so congruent with what we're finding in the global context in other developing countries. The importance of collaboration that DBE cannot do this work all by uh, its, uh, itself. There's always a need to work with other departments, other donors, NGOs, society at large, to realize the goals of increasing reading. For about 10 years now, we have been supporting, financially supporting, but also technically being partners with the Department of Education. And, and the goal is that we recognize that reading is important, but it's beyond that. It's about how the educational development of young learners also impacts um, our economy, impacts uh, South Africa at large, and continues to create opportunities for us to instill a sense of self, a sense of understanding, a sense of using uh, first language, and all of that in building the whole child and not just focusing on the act of reading itself.